Okay. Chatur bim shamsha. Chatur bim shamsha. Chatur bim shamsha shows vidya. What's vidya mean? Truth, knowledge, sight. <laughs> Truth, Truth. No, knowing. Wisdom. Yeah. Vid means to know. To okay. know. So vidya means <laughs> the knowing, the knowing, the science, the knowledge, the knowledge education, understanding. Hmm. It's also called the Siddhamsha. What's Siddhi mean? Powers. Hmm? Powers. Yeah. Accomplishment. Different, uh, you know, little clairvoyant tools. <laughs> 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 yes, the clairvoyant tools. Um, <laughs> it can mean accomplishment, it can mean perfection. It can mean, and it's interpreted sometimes as these supernatural powers. But this is the thing. Humans, by nature, are imperfect beings. Doomed to make mistakes. Humans are just, it's just so, the nature of things is to be imperfect. That tea is not made perfect. Either you leave the tea bag too long or too short. You miss something in the notes. So there's always some imperfection happening. If you did something perfect, would it be human? No, it would be divine. It'd be superhuman. It'd be transhuman. So Siddhi is this perfection. If you perfected something, it's supernatural. It's not natural anymore. So at this level, this is the perfecting, the accomplishing above and beyond. It's vidya, it's knowledge. It's the, the knowledge that can attain the higher mm -hmm. understanding. Mm. And okay. So in the D24, we divide each sign into 12. Dividing each sign, uh, each sign into 24. That means that how many times can the zodiac fit inside of each sign? Twice. Now, the order that the D24 goes is the odd sign starts with Leo. If you start at the odd sign with Leo in the first division, where does it end? What's the last sign? Cancer. 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 And the even sign starts with Cancer and ends with Leo. Okay? So showing the, the karakas for this are the sun and the moon. And the Karaka Bhavas are the fourth and the fifth. The fourth house shows um, your general primary learning. The Karaka is the moon, and it specifically shows what is called Aparavidya. Who knows what Aparavidya is? Aparavidya. Huh? What's par? I'm just I'm going to be without. Transcended. Above. Yeah. Apara, Apara is not oh, above. Apara. Not above. Not above. So it's your material not learning. It's material learning. Mm -hmm. Learning about your career. Learning about your um it's a different one. It's 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 material world learning. The learning that you learn to <coughs> benefit your career, to benefit your understanding, to learn how to um, cook. To learn, you know, all these like materialistic learnings that are important to have. Ordinary knowledge. Ordina ordinary knowledge. The Karka, it, the Karka Bhava is the fourth house. The Karka is the moon as well as Mercury. The fifth house shows Apara Vidya. It's naturally ruled by Leo, the sun. Apara Vidya shows spiritual knowledge. It's not, uh, spiritual knowledge won't in general, feed you, buy you a house. You don't earn from it. It often does very little to benefit you on the material plane. It's the transcendental knowledge. 
It's the knowledge of things that are beyond the material world. Fifth house, the sun, as well as Karaka, Jupiter. And so when we see, these are the, these are the main Karaka Bhava, and we see the division as being related to Cancer and Leo. So what this also shows us is the importance of the lunar intuitive mind and the um, solar logical mind and the balance between the two in learning and the need for both when we talked in the beginning about Ganita, Hora, and Samhita the different branches of Jyotish we talked about understanding the mathematical stuff to strengthen our logical mind and understanding the emotional interpretive stuff to strengthen our lunar side of our mind and the balance between these two and the Siddhamsha by its calculation shows us the balance needed for these two things um, so what we look at in this Siddhamsha is is knowledge learning both apar vidya and para vidya we're going to go right now into studying quickly um apara vidya because that's what we're going to look at the most in this chart so the first house we see is so first we check our Karaka ba uh, Graha. If the sun is weak, if Jupiter and the moon are weak, if these, these let us know which areas of knowledge are hard to understand and which ones are easy to understand. And then we look at the fourth house. The fourth house shows our primary education. It shows your grade school and your high school. Now from there we grow. And we grow to the sixth house from the fourth, which is what? Six. Ninth house. Mm -hmm. Close. Right. Ninth house. So after we graduate from high school, we leave the fourth house and we go to the ninth house. And the ninth house shows our associates and bachelor's level of education. The ninth house is the natural house of university, of college. Fourth house is the grade school and the high school. Ninth house is the university or college, showing the associates and bachelor's level education. Mm. Once we get our bachelor's, we graduate and we move to a master's program, if the house is strong enough, which is six from the ninth. Second, mm. Second. second house. The second house shows our master's degree level of education. It's where we begin to specialize our knowledge. And when we go for PhD, six more. Seven. Hmm? Six more. Six more. Seven. The seventh house shows the PhD. Whatever planets are in the seventh house will show what the person does their research on. Hmm. Now, if we use the rules of uh, Bhavat Bhavam, they're going to change for each level of education. Looking at the um, PhD, what sustains the PhD? Second house from it, right? Mm -hmm. So what would the second house relative to PhD represent? Data, so research. Research. So research and, and high student loans are what are supporting right, the PhD. <laughs> okay, so you see how we, we use all the houses from this. If these houses, any of them are weak and afflicted by malefics, the person generally doesn't pass that level of education. Sometimes you see that if they did get a PhD, they, you know, an exalted planet in the seventh house, showing they'd have this wonderful PhD research. Yet they can't get past that ninth house bachelor's education, because there's the nodes, Rahu and Saturn sitting there. Wow. So in this way, <laughs> huh? Oh, because I was just looking at the like, um, Jupiter is afflicted by the nodes. In your chart, in my which chart. is the higher level of education. Well, again, Jupiter's in the fourth house. In the fourth, oh, that shows some affliction when you were in grade school. It shows that I didn't, I didn't finish high school. You didn't. <laughs> 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 and 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 that's just chart says that, right? The chart says, chart shows it. <laughs> <laughs> is it because Jupiter is afflicted by the nodes? It's the nodes. Oh. The nodes are, are murders for education. Oh. But basically, the nodes are stopping. Mm-hmm. Why is it six from, from the 
Six is growing, eighth is transformation. So, what so when we looked for the next wife, the next wife, the next wife, we went eighth from eighth from eighth from. Right. If we're looking at the upapada, for example, if the person is changing, like they get divorced and get married again, we're looking eighth from eighth from eighth from. When you look at a Muslim chart, and the person just keeps getting, or, or Mormon's chart, <laughs> and they keep getting more and more wives, you go six from the upapada, six from the upapada, six from the upapada. Oh, growing wives. Growing, it's upachaya. Right, it's so, changing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. So, so growing, so education is a process of growing. So you go six from, six from, six oh, from. Gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> so in the same way, from the lagna of the Rashi chart, the six from shows our growing, our ability to overcome our weaknesses, our shabrafu. Okay, so the sixth house in the V24 is really a good house then. It depends for which level of education. For the for primary school, it shows the effort that they put in. But what about for college? What's it show? That first year of college. First year of college, it's a tenth from that. So it shows what kind of work they have to do when they're in college to get through it. What about once they get to their master's level? It's a uh, fifth from the master's level. So it's going to show their planning, what they're planning, what they're deciding to do, how they're orchestrating, you know, their time and their research. So if the nodes are in the sixth house, um, that's not good for education. It depends on the level of education. It's not falling in one of the houses of education, so it's better than that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's what I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> what about the notes together? Yeah. 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 They're all, that's how they go. I have the same chart. <clears throat> oh, no. Yeah. Well, you have the same Okay, same yeah. Um, uh -oh. I'm looking at the D24 in my Ravana Torah system, mm -hmm. and it's called Siddhamsha. Siddhamsha. And we discussed. So there's two names. So this that's is Chatur Vinshamsha. It's Chatur Vinshamsha. You were here when we discussed about the different ways to name a, a Varga, right? Navamsha can be called Nava, Nai, Amsha, or it can be called Dharma Amsha, right? Okay, right, right. Same way, each of these charts are like that. So Chatur means four, Vimshamsha, me, Vimsha means 20. Amsha division. So Chatur 4, Vimsha 20, 24, Amsha. Okay. Or Siddhamsha, the division of, of attaining perfection. Because the bottom line is, in a traditional sense, by the time you get to your PhD, you should be perfecting a science. Wow. Okay. Does the modern American PhD actually show that the person has perfected something? <laughs> I know way too many PhD people who don't know what they're talking about. But sometimes it does show that they're perfecting a certain aspect of that area of their study. But that's, that's the concept. At that level, you should be getting to a, a level of perfection in what you're doing. 